Hi guys, my name is Ramsey Weaver and I was raised in a cult. So <laughs> before we get to that, let me show you my bag. This is my grab bag. It is from TJ Maxx because I love a good deal. Um, obviously enough to drag around one of their bags. So it's really big. I'm gonna set it down right at my feet. Back to my cold. Um, I was raised in Utah and I was raised Mormon. I know that for some people, they may not think Mormons are a cult. They may know somebody. Mormons are super nice. Um, but if you've ever read the bite model, it's behavior control, information control, thought control, emotional control. It definitely is um, a cult. So this is what I grew up studying. This is, they call it a quad. It's the Holy Bible, the Book of Mormon, Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. So while most Christian religions just study the Bible, this is what Mormons study. And I grew up studying this, learning this, singing songs about this. Um, I went on a mission and I taught people this. It wasn't, I didn't leave until about five years ago. And when I finally realized that it's not actually true and that it's controlling and it's damaging to a lot of people. So I didn't want to raise my children there. So this is my first object. It is a quad. My <clears throat> next object is a ukulele. After I left uh, Mormonism, I, I really had an awakening of, you know, what is it that I want to do? What do I want to learn about? What do I want to do? I was always raised to, I was taught what to do and told what to do, that I needed to just be a mother and I needed to have lots of babies and I needed to raise them in the church. Um, but there wasn't a lot of thought to what is it that you want to do, Ramsey? And I wanted to learn to play the ukulele. So... I taught myself how to play the ukulele. I'm not very good at it, but I can play a few songs. Um, the next item I have in my bag is this little card. It's from a place called Essential Imaging. This is something that's going on in my life right now. I have been really, really sick since Christmas and I have fluid in my ears that won't drain out. So I kind of am deaf in my left ear right now. Um, it feels like I'm underwater, but I had to go to Essential Imaging and get a CT scan. And it was my first time getting a CT scan. Uh, it's something just personal to me and that's going on in my life that now you guys know. And if anyone's curious about my results, I should find out next week. Next up in my bag is this little toy. I don't know what it does. I've stepped on it numerous times. It belongs to one of my children. This little toy represents the fact that I've got three boys. They're 12, 9, and 7, and my house is very chaotic because of that. Uh, but this little toy just kind of reminds me of my boys because they're all over my house and I don't know what it does, just like I don't know what most of their toys do. But I know they love it and so I'll, I just toss it back in the room. My final object is my future. Um, it's this little book of quotes by RBG Ruth Bader Ginsburg because she's super inspirational to me. Having been raised in a situation where I was always taught what to do, what to feel, all of those things, um, I, looking at her, she really saw what she wanted and she went after it. And she just is someone that I can look up to and realize that no matter what my dreams are, I can accomplish them, which is why I'm going back to school. My dream is to finish my degree. I'm 39. It doesn't seem like it's you know something that someone would do at this age but it's important to me to get a degree and it's important to me to find a career and she is someone that i can definitely look up to as an inspiration so now you know kind of a little bit of what it was like to be raised in a cult and how i've transformed my life since thanks for listening to my ted talk <laughs>